Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a tutorial on how to make candy fruit or tangulu. So here are the ingredients that you're gonna need. You're gonna need sugar, white sugar. You're gonna need corn syrup, water, some type of measuring glass, food coloring, and that's if you decide that you wanna use it, so that would be optional. Um, skewers for your fruit. You're definitely gonna need this candy thermometer. This is probably the most important uh, step in the process. If you don't have this, more than likely you're gonna mess it up. <laughs> and of course, something to stir your mixture with. Okay, so as you can see, I have already placed my fruit on skewers here. So I have grapes and I have apples. And uh, these two are some of the most uh, convenient fruit to use this with because of the skin. They have like a, a tough type of texture to the skin, so it allows the candy to stick a little bit better. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get two cups of sugar. And of course, you're gonna need this pot. I didn't mention that. So you need a pot that's uh, deep enough for you to be able to dip your fruit into. We're gonna do two cups of sugar. two cups. Okay. Go ahead and set your sugar aside. Now you're going to do one fourth cup of water. That's why it's really important to have your uh, measuring glass here. So we're going to do one fourth cup of water. Okay. Just pour that right into the mixture. And then we're gonna do our corn syrup. And for the corn syrup, you're gonna do one third cup of corn syrup. Okay, and there we go. One third cup. And then get your spoon and kind of spoon that out because that is kind of thick. Okay, and the next step would be to add your food coloring. Now, for demonstration purposes, I'm not gonna be adding food coloring today because I don't want to, so when I do my candied fruit, it's just gonna be like more like glass. If you wanted to do your food coloring, you would go ahead and add your drops now. Make sure you don't do that to a hot mixture because it's gonna splatter all over the place and it's gonna to totally mess up your mixture. Um, so let's go ahead and stir this. So you're just gonna take your spoon and just kind of mix it all together. Just keep stirring that until everything is combined. Okay. All right. Everything looks good. So we're gonna put that to the side. Okay, so now it's time for your thermometer, most important step. First time I tried to do this without the thermometer and I totally screwed it up. So as you can see, it says soft crack here at about two, what is that, 275, and then hard crack at 300. We're looking for a hard crack. So you're gonna to wanna to get your mixture up to 300 degrees and hard crack. So you're gonna to wanna to get a candy thermometer. I got this one from Walmart, it was less than $5. And it has this little attachment on the back that allows it to attach to your pot, which is really neat. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this into my mixture and slide my handle down. And see, it's right there in the mixture. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut my stove on to medium high heat. And then I'm gonna let this sit and we're gonna be letting this get up to 300 degrees for a hard crack. And I'm gonna go ahead and put all these instructions in the comments below. So don't worry if you're not following along with everything that I'm saying, it'll be down there below for you to follow. So now that I have my stove on, I'm gonna go ahead and heat this mixture. It takes roughly about 15 to 20 minutes for it to reach this 300 degrees. So I will be right back after this mixture is nice and hot, and then we will go ahead and dip our fruit at that time. So I'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay. 
Okay, so we are back. It looks like our mixture is at its desired temperature, which is 300 degrees. And as you can see, it shows as hard crack. So now it is time for us to go ahead and start dipping our mixture. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the stove, take out my candy thermometer. You can go ahead and just sit that right on that parchment paper. Go ahead and grab your mixture grab your fruit and then now we're gonna start dipping and you just twirl it around let it kind of drain for a second go ahead and put it down on your parchment paper and then grab the next one and you're just gonna repeat that till you've done all of your fruit okay. fairly simple you do want to move quickly though because this mixture will start to cool fairly quickly and if that does happen, you can just sit this right back on your stove and cut it back on until you get back to 300 degrees. So that's not a big deal if it does start to cool off before you get done dipping. But as you can see, it's really simple. You just go ahead and dip that and sit it down. Okay, and that's our grapes. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab an apple and then you just twirl it around let it drain just a second and then just sit it down grab another apple and see very simple and if you have a lot of fruit that you're doing you can actually double the mixture that i gave you and that'll produce a lot more of the candy mixture if you have more fruit that you need to do but this will do a pretty decent amount. As you can see, I did four apples and five screws of grapes, and it did pretty much all of that. And I still have a decent amount left over. Okay. And you can just sit this out of the way and look at that mixture. It's nice and glassy. Your fruit looks great. And you're going to let that sit for about 15 minutes. It will harden right away, but you do want to give it a little bit of time just kind of sit there and make sure it's not too hot okay so there you go that is your tutorial on how to make candy fruit or tangulu if you guys enjoyed this video please like share subscribe comment all that good stuff and also if you want to see me eating some of this lovely candy fruit Check out my link below to my ASMR channel and take a look at that. I'd love for you guys to go ahead and do that. And we will see you next time on our next how-to video. Bye-bye.